The Ministry of Tourism has with immediate effect halted the campaign to have the Barotse, Royal, the Barotse Flood Plains listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in order to allow for further consultations. Tourism Minister Rodney Sikumba says studies and consultations to have the Barotse Plains listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site began in 2007 when permission to do so was sought and granted by the Barotse Royal Establishment, adding that consultations have been ongoing since then. Mr. Sikumba says in the last two years, the campaign to sensitize the public was intensified through the radio, television and community meetings across the plains. He says this was coupled with a fundraising campaign in Lusaka and Livingston to save Makono village from the corrosive action of the Zambezi River, which transfers the Barotse Plains. The minister said Makono village has great traditional significance to the Litunga in Western Province and must be protected and preserved at all cost. Mr. Sikumba said the ministry, through the National Heritage Conservation Commission, and the Barotse Royal Establishment, BRE, had until now spearheaded a campaign dubbed From Barotse to the World, aimed at bringing international recognition to the unique landscape, culture, and traditions of the Barotse Plains. He said government would like to assure the nation that listing the Barossa Plains as a UNESCO World Heritage Site has nothing to do with the sale of the land in the Barossa Plains or the dispossession of the people of their heritage in any form. Mr. Skumba has since encouraged all stakeholders who feel left out in the consultations to use this period to engage the BRE and the NHCC to discuss their fears and concerns. He said government will not proceed to submit the nomination of the Barota Plains until all concerns are addressed. This is according to a statement issued by Ministry of Tourism Public Relations Officer Sakavilo Kalembwe. We now retake our first story where Health Minister Sylvia Masebo has clarified that government is not compelling anyone to get the COVID-19 vaccination against their will. Ms. Masebo